Hey, fellow agents, this is Agent Smith, and we are playing The Medium. So in a previous episode, we were introduced to Marianne, her father, who had died, as well as she had received a phone call from a mysterious person named Thomas, claiming information that's similar to dreams that she has been having. So, we pick up now directly off of the end of the opening credit sequence that whatever reason glitched out on me, and hopefully we won't observe any more of that kind of stuff as I have taken the time to fix things that normally slow my system down, like v-syncing and such. So, let us continue on the open road. So, I'd rather have little skips like that happen than to get perfect syncing. And off I went, on nothing but a hunch. A call from a complete stranger. But I'd learned to trust my instincts, and there was something about this guy, his voice. I felt like I should know him. Either way, he sure seemed to know me. I wonder if he has a connection like her, ability to see into the future. Definitely Czechoslovakia. I mean, uh, Poland, excuse me. <laughs> In fact, I'll double check that. As I forgot to in the previous one. The Neva Workers Resort. Right off the bat, I could feel there was something off about that place. Poland, sorry. And then therefore, because of that, V's should be pronounced differently. Alrighty. Well, actually, because I have the curiosity to do so, we don't have the ability to run, I've noticed, in all of our buttons. Boom, I knew there'd be something on this map. As you can see, things load in as they, as they want to, so... I'm fine with that. Again, I'm not running a state-of-the-art computer, which is... Probably what this is looking for in a graphics engine that's uh, closer to the Anyone current home? ray tracing ones. I guess not. Oh, I can't use my power. Okay. <clears throat> From Neva with love. My uh, achievements keep popping in. Neva says hello. You would love it here, my dear. Amazing day room for kids and free art lessons. Lots of families. And the hotel is huge. I've never seen anything like it. Wish you could be here with me. Miss you. F. At least everyone writes in English. <laughs> Nothing else here, I guess. Oh, what's this? What the? Well, there's somebody else. Hello? There. Thomas? No, that looks like a motherfucking zombie. Fuck that noise. He just walks right off. Hmm. Well, how am I gonna get in? That's the question. Looks like there's a lock here. The front gate was locked up tight. I needed to find another way in. I have to find another way around. I know she just said that. I'm sorry. I repeat my. I repeat them sometimes. <laughs> I have to go and see. I love how they're doing this, though. It's very Resident evil -y. Traditional Resident Evil, not the newer ones. Why to climb? Okay, that's different. You want to keep me out, Neva? Good luck with that. Also, we're really... We're going to do better than that. Yeah. Not a whole lot of people knew about Neva. It used to be a government-owned vacation resort. Until one day, it just stopped and so an urban legend was born the neva massacre camp crystal lake the details were always fuzzy <laughs> crazed workers ancient curses you know the usual children drown in the lake mothers murdering all the camp counselors you know the usual 
At least I can run now. I knew there would be a way to. There had to be a way to. Doesn't take away my beacon, so I can still see. That guy looked like he was shambling, that's all I gotta say. And now he's gone, so I'm not okay with any of that. Let's just drop into the random woods as we keep going. Nope. All kinds of nope. Really? 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 Huh. Hello. Footprints in the ground. Just follow them. Keep an eye on the real world as we go. What's this? Kid's handprint there. T plus K, 1968. Thought I saw something move behind the tree, but it might have been just a bush. Messing with my head. There's another handprint on that tree. I'm gonna go check that out. I'm curious, actually. Why would they put that up there? No? No reason? Okay. I haven't seen the little girl, so I was thinking maybe I would see her when I find these handprints everywhere, but apparently not. down but jump down okay Whoop, looks more like an abandoned mine <coughs> due to the recently unearthed remains renovation works have been suspended pending archaeological examination can you guess where the jump scare is about to happen Something happened here. Mm hmm. Three, two, one. Jump scare. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Guess not. Oh, there you go. I knew something would happen. That's a, That's a stopgap. would come and go. If a place had a story to tell, well, I guess I was there to listen. Oh, that's so cool. So I'm playing both sides at the same time. The difference being, oh, that's so weird. That definitely pushes my computer. Loading two worlds at the same time. in this place. We'll focus on the spirit world. Boom. Like there's a barrier still there. No? Just the footprints. Oh, a wire that runs down the way. Okay. This is just showing that it's connected to the fence. Yeah. Yeah. Not getting through here. Not with the power out. When you exist in two realities, you're affected by either. Yeah. I learned that the hard way. That's interesting. So, the barrier in that world creates a visible barrier here. So 
sort of like the restriction I'm guessing in the dark world is preventing that uh, device from functioning. The place felt old and soaked in misery. So Figures, strange. I guess. I crossed my eyes. Thousand years of history doesn't just happen. It's paid for. But even in the deepest darkness, light can linger. Lonely. Fragile. Waiting for someone to embrace it. That's so crazy. And so when I press A on that, it worked because of the other side, but X is her normal button for doing stuff. I wonder if button reaction times are going to be done in this separate from that. See, for her, there's nothing in reality here, but for the for the medium world, there's a creepy series of fucking creatures that are twitching in the dark. As I absorbed the energy, I wondered who it was that left it behind. A dying soldier whispering the name of his beloved? Or maybe just glad to be done with this world? I want to be able to cross my eyes and line them up, but... They both, even though it looks like they're holding themselves perfectly together, they're almost not. This is insane. I love how this is being done. Two worlds. United in one reality. In any case, I figured I could use it. To power Energy's this up. Energy, right? Press and hold right trigger to charge the spirit blast. Good for you, Marion. These powers of mine, as much of a pain in the ass as they were, they did come in handy sometimes. Did that power the fence to function? I can't tell. It looks like the light went on. But does that mean I can now open the door? Oh, sure enough. I guess it was electrified or magnetized. <clears throat> the screen tearing and the effects that I have, the problems on my end, don't seem to show well, up for I your was. recordings. Existing in two worlds, mm -hmm. but never really living in either. Two worlds, but one reality. So we continue to follow these child footsteps. <clears throat> Caution. Fire hazard. I was like, cool, where the, f the footsteps disappeared on me for a second there. I was like, what the heck's going on now? A fork. She went left. Ooh, what's wrong what with it? To you? Yeah. It's like necrosis. Necrotized flesh. Hmm. Alright, just keep running. She went straight. Okay, that's one way to go. Well, what's this other direction? My curiosity is going to make me run the wrong way for a little while, I have a feeling. There's like a clock, little clock tower. What the hell? Yeah. There's a grave. Dead ends here, though, so I guess I can go back. I mean, we're going off the beaten path quite considerably, and the roads for this place probably led you exactly where to go. So, I mean, it is like, what the hell, but at the same time, it's probably more like, uh... No one should have ever seen any of this down here in the first place. There she is, okay. 
I was wondering if I was going to see her uh, footsteps again because we kind of disappeared for a minute there. Neva. Oh, now we're fully in the world. There's definitely something going on with this place. What the hell are you, Neva? A hell mouth, for those who get the reference. The aura in that place. <clears throat> I've seen others like it, but never this intense. It was like a landfill of memories, emotions, and none of them good. I'll follow the steps and keep guiding me directly where to go to. Oh, jeez, that scared me. <laughs> that made me jump. <laughs> uh huh. Definitely something. Trust me, you made the right call sending me. Yes. It's only a matter of time. Echo. Even the objects here had auras. When I touched them, I could sense their stories. Words, images, feelings left behind. Oh, this is going to be a sensory overload for her, as a medium and all. If everything in this place has physically got an aura about it, and histories behind them. I need to turn this can better so you guys don't see what I'm drinking. It's soda. No advertising. No advertisements allowed. I want to know what happened to that body. Oh, look at this a butterfly here. Well, I've already proven my prowess as a dumpster climber. <laughs> Shit, the handle's missing. Maybe yeah. I could replace it with something. Rod. Nope. I think there's a broken window up there. Well, that's easy to get to, but oh, I need I the dumpster. Wait. But to get to the dumpster, I need a handle. Okay. I see where we're going. Is this handle going to break off when I mess with it? Hello? Mm -mm. Anybody in there? Shadow walks by. Okay. Didn't happen. Locked. Obviously. There's got to be another way. Yeah, but there's got to be a way after I've taken a look to see what I can do there. Obviously, that's where they point me. But I need to find a tool that I can utilize. A tool that can open the door. We're not getting in that way yet, then. Unless I can utilize that phone handle. Mm. I see a few footsteps moving slowly this way. I see that, but it only lets me go so far before it cuts me off on the edge of the world. <coughs> they don't want me exploring too hard. You see what I mean? There's little footsteps here on the ground. <coughs> uh, Neva Resort, summer of 1969 inauguration. The first secretary of the Polish United Workers Party, comrade uh, Vlad Vladislaw uh, Gomulka. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Honored uh, Krakow and took part in an official inauguration of the Neva Resort, a new, a new center of the socialist joy and recreation. 
Working class of lesser Poland finally has a place to spend family time in the bosom of, of nature. In the bosom of nature. The main building and the lodge area are comfortable yet simple. Simple are the socialistic spirit and, and uh, philosophy. Special thanks to the architecture, architect, future manager, and a committed party member, Mr. Rekovic. Rekovic. Vix. Vich. I'm going to go Vich. <laughs> anyway, without whom the Neva, the Neva Resort would be impossible to design, constructed, and built. Construct and build. Yeah, yeah. It's the 25th anniversary of establishing Poland's People's Republic. The Polish People's Republic. The PPCE. Let's keep moving this way if it lets me. Got arrows on the ground and I'm still finding footprints here and there. So maybe this is the right way to go and do some exploration. Hey, old timer. Now, what's a fine machine like you doing in a place like this? Doubling as a spare bedroom, apparently. Mm hmm. Hope you don't mind if I uh, pop your trunk. <laughs> Another postcard. My love. Summer in full swing. The resort is stuffed to the gills. And you know what that means. More work for yours, truly. But it's good work, honest work. Mr. Rekovic uh, said he'd like to keep me on. Can you believe it? I won't screw this up. Not this time. I promise. F. Anything else in here? Oh, look at that. Yep, there's something in there. I'm glad I checked that. I, I mean, I opened the hood and I would have seen it anyway, but uh, but nonetheless. Oh, that's a trunk. Not much here. I forgot the trunks are in the front. Although, this could come in handy. Mm-hmm. Ow! Shit! <laughs> what the hell? The horn honked itself. They try to catch me off guard. I think the rest of this place will be closed off. Yep, they don't want us to go too far. So I was glad I explored this direction of the uh, of the place. But now let's get back to the door. Ooh, never mind. Finding more things. Broad Horizons. Broad Horizons, the Buran program. New Soviet spacecraft soon to depart. Handheld mobile phones, the future of communication. Global eradication of smallpox, the greatest medical achievement of our time. Is there any more on the back? No. Okay. Somebody's book. They leave little marks, like kids leaving chalk marks on the ground. Trying to guide me, I guess, or something. Mm, that's a hopscotch thing here on the ground. I sent something. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, and eight. And back again. <laughs> I can't interact with it. All right, onto the door now. Other than that hopscotch, there was nothing else. I checked through all the different parking lots. There was a book on the bench, and there was a hopscotch thing. Both of which left premonitions a bit, but now let's see if we can utilize this with a screwdriver. Nice. And then maybe we can get in here and take a look around and possibly so get this trash bin. Great dumpster heist of 1999. Haha, <laughs> you've got sarcasm. She uses her wit to, uh. Oh, it's all blocked off. Okay. They don't want me going anywhere further than the dumpsters. Um, she uses her wit to help her, uh, like I do. To help her deal with her fear. Get this over on the other side. I'm starting to get tired of your shit, Neva. Uh. You better be worth it. Do I have to turn this thing? Oh, it seems like it's okay. I'm on it. It might not be a good idea to break into this place that's been locked down. Don't go back down. Come on now. Come on now, girl. 
It might not be a good idea to be going up into this place in the first place. Considering. Considering creepy ghost shit. Mm -hmm. You could just kick that out of the way. Make it easier to exit. In Soviet Poland. Resort. <laughs> Resort vacates you. She was glowing. This means there's got to be something on it. There it is. What the fuck happened here? Dialogue done. So it's true. The Neva massacre. I need to find this Thomas guy and get the hell out of here. If you hear a thumpering in in the background, that might be a motorcycle in my neighborhood. A couple of my neighbors ride them. And they are loud. Okay. Oh, I had to check the door. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, I was about to say, what's all that noise? Anyone? No one should be here. Thomas? Except, you there? Except for maybe Thomas. The duckling. There's a duckling. Polish legends. The dragon of uh, Vavil? Vavil Hill or Wavil Hill? Vavil? I don't know how they pronounce their W's. I'm assuming with a V sound, considering the stereotypical... Polish sounding language uses the V's for W's. Vessels. Or uh, Wessels. No, that's the other way around. Yeah, either way. Why do my teeth fall out on page 7? Back to school on page 9. Puzzles and crosswords are found on page 10. And much, much more. Well, oh, that's creepy. That's extra creepy. I'm waiting to see creepy shit to happen in this where like you see somebody's feet underneath you or something <clears throat> you know nearby we're here in the lobby and the one is the main entrance we got two by the staircase to the lobby itself below that or where i'm crawled right around from me is the reception area elevators are there there's a pool out back that would be why it was kind of cut off where we were where we found the dumpster but there's supposed to be a pool over there with saunas beyond that and a day room beyond all that that is also locked. Another set of elevators on the other side of the building. Oh, let's check in. The lights are doing their thing over there. Alright, there's nothing here, so let me just roll back with my premonitions. Look at the book from this side. Sinners be damned. I have a list of names here, though. Kowalski, uh, Brunan, Brunan Kowalski, Alina Smuck, uh, Victoria Maurer, and Boris Zelazov. Zel 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 Zelazo. There we go. Where's Mike Insulin? Yeah. Like, uh, the other stuff, vote for Pedro. I love it. Somebody's a fan of, um, of, um, oh my god, my brain sucks today. Uh, Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> Nothing with the radio, huh? That's a surprise. Polish valet sign. The star of the Bolshoi Theater, Vivian, the ne at the Neva Workers Resort. Communist resorts. Before I go check out that light, let me just take a look at the last few things we have here. 
the day room, the safest place for your youngest, Neva. Cool. And this sign says, the Neva restaurant, the people's taste. If we had John Cena with us, we can give all the ghosts and shit we're about to deal with the people's elbow. <laughs> oh, wait, no, that's not John Cena. That's The Rock. Get my, my references right. <laughs> Travel in style. Travel in comfort. On a bus. The people's bus. So we got a magazine here. An article for something. Spring Magazine. News information and practical advice for a modern lady. The Forefathers Well Forefathers is Wells, a new literary bestseller by Joanna Oh Shemil Shemilevska. Shemilevska. Oh my goodness, I can't even say it. I'm sorry. I'm horrible with Polish names and I apologize for anybody from Poland that might be watching this. Shemilevska. Shemilevska. There we go. Anyway, readers ask, experts respond, tin sewing techniques for fashionable skirts. Pretty lady on the back. No other information. I'd like to read the other side of it. Hmm. Okay, I think that covers all the stuff that's available here, so let's go check out that buzzing light I don't really want to check out, but I'm going to have to because I'm sure there's no other thing I can do here and the elevators don't work. They don't. Behind the elevators? Anything I can do to avoid it. There we go. Oh, I got another note. These messages. Groundskeeper postcards are interesting. My dearest. I know I promised to visit, but guess what? I got promoted. Yes, really. Meet the new chief of staff. I really think this might be it. A fresh start. A place to call home. For us, I mean. You, me, the kids. I know it sounds crazy, but just think about it. Yours forever. F. <clears throat> F. Wasniak. The spider webs growing all over the place. Alright. Get me now. My curiosity has went its peak. Just half of a butterfly necklace. I wonder who owns the other half. Or if it's a detail on the other side of the medium that the other half is on her neck. Hello? Thomas? Thomas. Somebody's ringing the bell. Bum bum bum. Easy, Marianne. It's just a good old fashioned haunted hotel. Yep. Calm your ass down and answer the bell. Hello, Bell. Ring it. Ding. Nope. Oh. From where? The staircase is destroyed. Man, fuck this whole hotel and this whole place. No thank you to all of that. Can I touch the ball this time and see? Cheerful to me. Well, it's what I remember. Um, my friends used to call me by a different name. But I don't remember what it was. Your friends? I wonder if that would help. Yeah. I used to have a lot of friends here. Uh, but, but they're all gone now. Just the same butterfly that's drawn all over the, the front as well. Something happened to them? I don't really want to talk about it. She doesn't that, have okay. the other side of the necklace. So, do you live here? All by yourself? <laughs> you wouldn't believe how boring it is. <laughs> I can imagine. This place. 
place must have been... Oh, yes. So busy. People coming and going all the time. <laughs> Always someone to play with. Must have been nice. Was she dead before or after this place, or was she one of the children of the caretaker? So... Tell me, what happened? Uh, I remember. People stopped coming. Uh, only a few of them stayed. The ones who lived here? But they became very sad. Very angry. They might hurt you. Thanks. But I can take care of myself. Mm hmm. Hey, I was wondering, have you seen Marianne? <laughs> yes. Oh, would you play with me? Just for a little while. It, it, it's been so long since I played with anyone. Oh, okay, okay. But I need your help first. Yes. Uh, yes! I'm looking for a man. Thomas. Do you know him? Uh huh. Let me think. Uh, I've heard that name before. Uh, Take your time. Uh, yeah. The second floor. Yep. Look there. Come on. The stairs don't exist in I reality can't go for that me. Way. <clears throat> or can I? Mm -hmm. I was just noticing that the stairs existed on that side. Interesting. We met Sadness. But we need to meet up with Sadness on the second floor, and unfortunately, in one of our two worlds, the staircase doesn't exist. And as it stated previously when we learned to open the door, what prevents you from accessing something on one world also affects the other world. So even though the staircase is there... Unless we're going to learn something new to imply that she can walk up the stairs in the alternate world and still make her go up there. Either way, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. I hope that you guys have been enjoying this. In the next one, we will meet up with Sadness and find her. Play with Sadness, so to speak, to help her if she can help us to find Thomas. But first, we must find a way to get ourselves onto the second floor in both of our realities. So, I hope you guys have been enjoying it. If you have... Then I will see you all in the next episode of The Medium. Have a great day. Oh, hey. I see that you guys are done with this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, you can see another one over here on the right-hand side. And, of course, we've also got one on the left as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.